coach, so you've, you've had a, a week plus to evaluate first exhibition. What's the expectations for this group of regular season starting this weekend? Well, we are cautiously, cautiously optimistic. We have a young group, but we have an awesome group. These are the, the, the we couldn't ask for a better group of guys to grow with. Um, with that being said, we do have a, a group of transfers and a group of freshmen, and we really need those transfers to take on a leadership role. Uh, part of what's going on right now with those freshmen are so good that they're competing against the transfers on a daily basis, and there's not a ton of difference in terms of talent margin. That's a really good sign for the future. If our transfers can show up and take on a leadership role and show up big in these games, we feel we can compete right away. And we just really love the fact that, that we have some guys that are 18, 19 years old that we're putting on the floor that are gonna be able to compete for us right away too, which which is very positive for, for not only as we grow throughout this season and what we're going to look like in January and February, but really off until, until next year and the following years. So what specific, is there anything specifically you want to see out of this group then this weekend as far as just, just growth on the court or do you have any goals kind of in place for these first two games? Well, I, I want to win. I, I mean, I just, this, this, this will be a challenge in terms of winning games early in the season. Uh, because everybody's new. We bring back Duncan Fortin, that is it. And he averaged only three points per game last year. We love Duncan, he's taken on a little bit of that leadership role that we need. But for us, we gotta compete every single possession. We gotta play defense, we have to protect the basketball. If we can do those things, we're sitting in a pretty good spot to, to, to try to get some wins this weekend. If we struggle and we're inconsistent, then, you know, we leave it up to we leave it up to maybe uh, somebody else. We want to take control. If we play for 25 minutes, we're probably not winning. We play well for 30, gives us a good chance. We play for 35, the game's ours. The first month or so of the season, as a coaching staff, does it feel a little bit like deja vu? Uh, just a lot of learning people, learning tendencies, and trying to mix and match and find that, that right spot for these guys. This year is so different from last year. This year feels like year one. Last year, we brought in a bunch of one-year transfers that are super talented. It wasn't about growth and development of the student athlete last year because there were seven seniors that took the load in, and, and they're just, they kind of are who they are when they're 22, 23 years old. Uh, this group of young, impressionable student athletes, and, and, and keep in mind that everybody is coming back next year. We have one senior walk on Marquise McCray, and he's injured. Uh, other than that, everybody is a freshman, sophomore, or junior. So we get these guys for you know a minimum right at 60 games, and, and for the freshmen, close to 120 games. It, it's not just about this. Last year was about how can we get this program off the ground as we inherited the last place team in the league, and we got it off the ground. This year is about not only can we compete and win some games this year, yes, that would be great, but is there a difference this year between 10 and 18 and 14 and 16? There is only if there is growth being made. Our goal and our vision is to be able to position ourselves for the future so we are competing at the top of the MIAA. And the way to do that is to have guys stay in your program for many years and have freshmen grow into juniors. We can't rush that process. We have to appreciate the process. We, we, we have to go through it. We have to enjoy each other and we will. And we're gonna to compete to the best of our ability. Are there any specific kids or names that you have kind of expectations? Or is it still kind of a battle for playing time pretty much across the board? Or? Yeah, uh, we've had guys leverage themselves to earn starting spots, and, and some injuries have come up, which has allowed other guys to slide in. At point guard will be Justin Williams from uh, from Indianapolis, Indiana. He is a junior. He's a transfer. Uh, backing him up is Keon Thomas uh, from Bonner Springs, Kansas. Uh, we're really excited about Keon in the future and uh, and kind of what he's bringing to the table from an energy standpoint. At the two guard spots, Jamari Turner. Uh, Jamari averaged 22 per game in the junior college. He was here last year. He had a broken ankle, so he medical redshirted. He's back in this year, and, uh, and he, he needs to show up big for us. Zach Owens will back him up. He played at Huntington University last year and averaged 16 a game, and he's got two years with us. Starting at the three spot is Gage McGuire. Gage is a freshman from Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, very, very tough, very talented, and, uh, and wow, the, this, his ceiling's so good. He's 6'7 at that spot. He can shoot it, play inside, outside, and he's proven to be one of our better defenders, too, so we're excited about him. Dallas Bailey, it, it kind of was his spot. It was He was the one kicking butt in the preseason, and then he went down with an ankle injury, so we're, we're hoping he will be back and playing here. We're not exactly sure it's going to be a game time decision for him. At the four spot is Brendan Van Dyke from Cowley College. He was, he was just a stud there and he's been really, really good for us in the preseason. Duncan Fort will be backing him up. And then we have a three-headed monster at the five spot between Mason Thiessen, who's, who's earned that starting spot, a 6'9 from Inman, Kansas. Devin Rotweiler from uh, uh, Central Wyoming College. He's a sophomore with us, big 6'8 kid. And then 6'10 Justin Balcom, a freshman from Alexandria, Minnesota.